Efficiently deploying foundation model inference services in a Kubernetes cluster poses many engineering challenges. For example, how to quickly deploy inference services. How to ensure resources can handle fluctuating visits once the service is online. How to conduct high-performance, low-latency, elastic, scalable foundation model inferences at a lower cost? Hello and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today, let me show you how to train and infer open source foundation models based on the ACK Cloud Native AI Suite. With the release of more and more large language models, including many outstanding open source ones, people can now experience these models and build their own applications. However, unlike previous models, the memory of a single GPU card may be insufficient to support large language models. Therefore, model parallelism is needed to split large language models and perform inference on multiple GPU cards. Deep speed inference provides model parallelism capabilities, allowing foundation models to be parallelly inferred on multiple GPUs using tensor parallelism technology to improve inference performance. Additionally, DeepSpeed offers high-performance custom inference kernels to enhance GPU's resource utilization and reduce inference latency. Hence, we can deploy a distributed inference service for large language models using deep speed inference. However, there are still many engineering challenges to efficiently deploy foundation model inference services in a Kubernetes cluster. For example, how can large-scale heterogeneous resources, such as GPUs, be efficiently managed for operation and maintenance and automatic scheduling? How to quickly deploy inference services, and how to ensure resources can handle fluctuating access volumes. Additionally, there's a lack of suitable tools for monitoring key metrics such as inference service latency, throughput, GPU utilization, and memory usage. There's also a need for a reasonable solution of model splitting and model version management. How to address these challenges? Now, with the training code and data ready, you can swiftly deploy distributed training tasks based on DeepSeed in the Alibaba Cloud ACK Cloud Native AI Suite using the command line tool Arena. This enables you to enhance the performance of your training tasks from submission to execution and manage the life cycle of your tasks efficiently. Arena is a lightweight solution of AI task lifecycle management based on Kubernetes. It provides a simple abstraction and efficient management of core production tasks in a deep learning. Arena supports the entire lifecycle of data preparation, model development, model training, and model inference. It abstracts away the complexities of underlying resources, Kubernetes clusters, runtime environments, task scheduling, GPU allocation and monitoring, and more, enhancing the efficiency of data scientists. Arena supports pre-training, fine-tuning, and inference of mainstream open-source LLM AIGC models. Compatible with various computing frameworks, including Jupyter, TensorFlow, PyTorch, MPI, Horova, DeepSeed, Megatron, LM, Spark, etc., it provides CLI, Go, Java, Python, SDKs, and a web UI console with a unified interface supporting communication between three ends. You can freely choose to train on a fixed GPU cluster or elastic GPU resources. Moreover, Arena is deeply integrated with Alibaba Cloud's fundamental cloud services, supporting GPU sharing, CPFS, and other services. It can run Alibaba's cloud-optimized deep learning frameworks, maximizing the performance and cost-effectiveness of Alibaba Cloud heterogeneous devices. Next, I'll demonstrate how to quickly deploy a single-machine multi-GPU inference service with the Bloom 7B1 model using Arena. First, model configuration needs to be written. The model configuration includes two aspects. One, configuration file, serving.properties in this example, which describes relevant information about model configuration. Pay attention to the tensor parallel degree parameter, specifying the size of the tensor parallel, set to two in this example, using two GPUs for distributed inference. Also, 
Focus on the model ID parameter, which is the name of the model in Hugging Face, or the model address after download. In this example, the Bloom 7B1 model will be downloaded to OSS and mounted in the container via PVC, so the OSS address needs to be specified. 2. Inference logic file, responsible for loading the model and processing requests. Configure the getModel function to load model and tokenizer. Use the deepspeed.init inference to transform the model into one with distributed inference capabilities and build the inference pipeline using the newly generated model. Configure the handle function to complete the tokenize, forward, and detokenize process by calling the pipeline generated in the getModel function. Now, let's look at serving.properties. Set the model ID to the container's internal address after PVC mounting. If the model is not downloaded locally, it can be set to big science slash bloom 7b1 for automatic download. Upload serving.properties, model.py, and model files optional to OSS. After uploading to OSS, create PV and PVC named bloom 7b1 PV and bloom 71 PVC, respectively, for mounting into the container for inference service. Once the model is configured, we can start the service. Place the configuration file information into PVC and use the following arena command to start the inference service. Set GPUs to 2 indicates the requirement for using two GPUs for distributed inference. Then move to data. Bloom 7b1-PVC refers to the PVC created in the previous step, and slash model is the pathway where the PVC is mounted into the container. First, we need to install the arena client. Execute the command to deploy the inference service. From the service start logs, we can see that tensor parallel size 2 is used for distributed parallelism in inference. Two processes are launched with rank ID 0 and 1. Rank 0 and rank 1 simultaneously perform kernel conversion and model loading to achieve distributed inference tasks. Next, let's start port forwarding for quick service verification. In another terminal, make a service request. Now let's configure ingress. Configure ingress to expose the model service to external traffic for management and ensure model availability. The specific operation is to log into the container service console, then select clusters from the left navigation bar. On the cluster list page, click on the target cluster name, then select network and ingress from the left navigation bar. On the ingress page, click on Create Ingress and configure the root in Ingress dialog box. After Ingress is created, use the configured domain name to access the Bloom model. That's it. Using Arena, you've successfully deployed a single machine, multi-GPU inference service for the Bloom 7B1 model. We hope to provide you with high performance, low latency, and elastically scalable foundation model inference service at a lower cost through the command line tool Arena in the cloud native AI suite. Now, if you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud ACK native AI suite, click the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.